Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. We're back with another episode of The Last Door. I get to stab the tree with the violin now, I think. I said there was a crack in there. I'm assuming that's what I need to do. Shove it in there. And the tree magically fixed itself. The violin has disappeared among the roots as this swallowed up the trunk seems to be expanding then and that noise came from above so I'm assuming it came from the bookshop it's gonna leave pretend that never happened what are you doing get in there oh now it's quiet there's no music anymore Oh, the tree has grown! Some of the branches have crashed through the window and onto the street. On the ground lies a book entitled Porn. Oh, I have to go out on the street and get it. The tree is alive! It looks as if the tree has come alive. The branches have grown quickly. They have broken the window and have sprouted outside. The sheet captured in the branches is gone now, though. And from where is that strong light coming? That, that is a good question. I didn't even think to question it. Hey, hey, dude. Look what I did. Oh, it's so dark over here. Never mind. Hey, did you hear that? Oh. I don't want to talk any about anything but books. Never mind. You know what? Whatever. That is not a book. What is this? I probably looked at it already. Uh, yeah, I did. Wait, what? It would have popped out over here? Maybe it's to that guy's house? What? Should I check up on that guy? I mean, they were connected, right? Now I'm confused. I made a tiny bit of progress and now I'm confused. Great. If you could walk a little faster. That's the PPS bathroom. Get in the stove. Oh, okay. Well, I came back here for no reason. Where is it? Can I just... Oh wait. No. I don't know. Maybe... Well, I don't see why I would have to backtrack all the way over there. So I'm just going to keep going forward. As far as I can go. Where is that sunlight coming from? <laughs> go inside, you... Yes, it's broken, but just move. I can't open this, can I? Oh, I can! Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is that lady. Do you have anything new to say? Nope. It wasn't moonlight, it was light. Gaslight. The paper sheet captured in the branches is now within my reach, so take it. On the page is a strange poem. First into the wind they sought for the king, but lost were the birds they wept in suffering. And flew to the sea, compelled by a need, they found their silence, their quest was complete. It kinda rhymed, and then all of a sudden it just died. Hello! Goodbye! The branches twist and twine all over the brick wall. They have a strange viscosity as if subtly pulsating. Oh well. Mm. So now where are you leading me? Into the fog? Why are you leading me into the fog? Am I going to die in the fog? Well, 
is a twee. Oh shit, what? I actually have to... Wait. This... Oh, that side is just crows. I'll just, I'll just go to the side of the wind. Oh shit, I guess I was supposed to go to the crows. go through the crows. The crows sound mean. They ate that guy and they tried to kill me. Why would I want to go through them? Okay, not this. Oh, it's a oh, so it's random every single time. Okay, so I need to look, listen, listen for the wind. Nope, it crows first. I need the wind. That's the ocean. Oh! The wind! Okay, now do I go... Oh shit, to the... Rose? That's a lot of wind. We already got the wind. Where's the crows? No, I chose that one last time and... Oh, okay. I can't go anymore, so I guess I'll go back this way. If I follow the crows, do I... No, don't go that way! Where are the crows? I guess I go to the crows. So the wind, the birds, and then the sea. Nope, this is the crows. Shut up, crows! There's an angel statue? An angel? Angel. And then silence. This is the ocean. Again. Where's my silence? The silence is golden, guys. Shut up. No, do not go that way. Yes. Where is my silence? Yes, this way. Did I make it? It's a hand. High five, man. You're missing a finger, though? Maybe? I don't know. We made it, I think. I hope. Where's the music? Oh, hello! What? The? Where did you go? Who are you? Where am I? Your ticket, please. Oh, he. Thank you. Please come in. But who are you? Where am I? Where am I going into? One guy lost his head. I don't even remember the story anymore. Where am I going? What is this ticket even to? What did I just sign up for? Hopefully I'm not supposed to find anything. Oh, okay. Just go over there. I don't like this. But I guess I'll go anyway. Who are you? Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would finally or find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group? What group? You don't remember my name, do you? I'm Alexandre? That's weird. 
What is this all about? Or what is all this about? What do you want from me? From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? Philosophy? Indeed. <laughs> I know what I wanted. It was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. There is no one who will care for us when our hour comes. We had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird protected us, or protects us. It is by his design that we should meet again, but we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wings. His influence and power is ever-expanding, ever-reaching. Do you not feel him beckoning? I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. This is a show, a performance. The truth we seek lies beyond the curtain. Now we will. Now we have crossed the point of no return. Wait, what? What do you mean point of no return? The lights are on. The stage is set. And soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. Uh, what? <laughs> that don't sound good. <laughs> this belongs to you. I don't want it. I okay. Okay. I don't want it though. Why am I a train? Dear Herr Dr. Wakefield, if you are reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigations have demanded a certain unanticipated degree of in, uh, attention. I have determined that you, your patient, David, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is of the utmost importance. Your friend, Johann Kufmann. Kaufmann? Kufmann? The truth behind the quartin. I got no truth? I don't know. The adventure continues in episode 4. Oh, so, oh wait, yeah, so each episode is on a different date. Continue on to the next episode. After escaping from his burial, David finds himself in a cellar of London's darkest slum, the old nickel rook rookery. In his pocket, he has a ticket for a show called The Four Witnesses. David walks through the misty streets following a strange man who seems to guide him. He learns the legend of Smurg, the king of birds. Following this, its trail through a dreamlike land of fog, David finally meets Alexandra, a member of the secret group David and his friends had at school. Alexandra welcomes David and speaks of an entity called the Bird that has been calling him ever since the experiment they conducted back then. How many episodes are there to this? I have no idea. There is no turning back. Well, yeah, because I'm on episode four. Oh. What? Eh? I'm the girl? I have made my mind- Am I gonna die? I have made my mind to what? I'm ready. For what? I'm not Spongebob. I am not ready. I am not ready. What you do to me? Go on. Do it. Oh. She just put a robe on you. Do it! Holy shit. No! Fine. Do it! I got stabbed with something. I got tetanus! I don't get it. I don't get the story. <laughs> it doesn't help that it's taking me like a month. And I only play like once in a week.
It's night time. When is it not night time actually in this game? Can you see all the stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations chased by human eyes in long dis distance distant eras. You look kind of green. Are you okay? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hung over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. Oh, wait, we're in the theater? Oh. The veil is a place of it, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The door will give, that gives passage through the veil. One, open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. Am I the doctor now? I suppose you're wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard of the Massacre of St. Gall? Why, yes. The tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. I gave them the wrong accents. <laughs> For now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. But I don't understand. How is this all connected to my with my patient? He was there, I'm afraid. He is one of the victims. Dear God! Uh, meh. Uh, we will ask these questions in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!